Hey, what's up YouTube? California Collectibles here. Check it out. I got something really cool today. I've never seen these figures in stores. I've never seen them online. I haven't seen any images or anything of these, but I spotted them at my local hobby shop, Collector D-Pins or D-Pin Collectors. Um, they're out here in Anaheim, California. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check them out. But I got some figures in here and you can tell right here that they are Spider-Man figures. So I'm going to go ahead and let them out one by one and show you guys what I got. So first of all, boom. These are the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Infinite Series and this is Anti-Venom. So check him out. Really cool. Um, he sports the same kind of body and looks like the same hands as Venom. Or not even Venom. The other character. Another mold. He shares the same mold as another character in the wave before this. And I have them all. I just have them in my closet somewhere. So let's go ahead and just uh, dissect this packaging real quick. We have Anti-Venom right there. And it looks like we're getting... Who is that? Is that Hobgoblin? Hobgoblin. Perfect. It's a Build-A-Figure collectible Hobgoblin, and it's the version where he has wings, he has this really cool hoodie. I remember seeing um, Humberto Ramos draw that version of Hobgoblin in the comic books. So we have Spider-Man for number one, and there's a twist to that, so I'll show you guys soon. Anti-Venom number two. Number three is Spider-Man 2099. Number four is Warriors of the Web. Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, um, Warriors of the Web, um, Arachnia, possibly? I don't know, but um, we also have Daredevil at the end. It's number six. So we're going to go ahead and look. You guys might have to school me on these characters, because the only characters I know is like Spider-Man, Spider-Woman. And I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I'm putting myself to shame right now. Um, right here we have Spider-Man, and the cool thing is he comes with an unmasked version right there where it's just half of his face and it's cool he comes with a pizza he has a whole bunch of hands he has hobgoblin's other leg so this was a half to buy only because of this piece right here and he comes with some really cool accessories even though it's just regular spider-man and there he is right there okay same thing next figure we got here Man, I wish they could just put her name so I don't have to be guessing. Um, Spider Woman, Spider Girl. I'm thinking this is that character Anya, but I might be wrong. Put it in the description below or in the comment section below of who this character is. I know a whole bunch of my comic book friends are going to be laughing at me because I don't know who that is. Spider Woman? Is it just Spider Woman? And her name is Anya. And then here's Spider Girl. So... The mystery has been solved. Thank you, packaging. You have saved me. Okay, and here it is. We have um, Spider Girl. She sports like that Scarlet Spider, Scarlet Spider Man look with the web slingers on the on her wrists. Looking at the articulation, it's not too bad. Um, I'm looking at her diaphragm. Seeing she, yeah. So this bends back and forth right here. Looks like 360 degrees up here. Got a hinge here. You got a hinge here. No toe articulation, no finger articulation. But check this out. Hobgoblin's face looks so cool. That is a nice sculpt. And he comes with some wings for his back. And I think that wings, those wings make him so much more cool. So let's go back to this. I had a whole, had a hard time trying to figure out who this was. Now we're going to look at her. And this um, this light right here, just because there's a yellow tone to it, a yellow tint, it's not too deceiving on video because she is kind of like a reddish, brownish. It's supposed to be black, I'm guessing, but if she's wearing, she's sporting like a reddish brown costume. She has brown hair. And even her eyes right here, they're kind of like, they're not really all white. And she has some crazy hand gestures going on it's like she's doing something like this 
and the other one is a fist. So she is very limited in, I don't know, hand presentation. So this is a figure that I thought was really, really cool. So someone is twisting his arm because it's kind of crazy backwards, but luckily it's the correct arm. So he comes with his accessories. Um, this is Daredevil. Comes with his batons here. He comes with the Hobgoblin's um, pumpkin bomb and his arm. But look at this Daredevil. He is really cool. Really cool. And I'm happy they actually made him. And this is a really good um, sculpt for him. Just like the size and the build. And he has like these extra accessories and belts. And the D, the two Ds on his chest. So this is a really good Daredevil. And it looks like this is the last figure. They probably have some exclusives out there. I'm not really sure. But this is the last figure that I purchased. Here is Spider-Man 2099. His hands are open, kind of like claw-like, like that. Comes with this crazy hobgoblin sword, blazing sword in his other arm. He has a thin build. Looks like really good articulation. He has that upper chest or that upper diaphragm. Um, a bend, twist at the at the waist, twist at the upper thigh, ball hinge at the at the upper upper thigh, no total articulation, and the paint job is really nice on this. Just looking at it, it's so shiny, it's clean, all the lines are crisp. So the quality on this, uh, the keyway on this, was pretty good. So, when I purchased these, I kind of looked at everyone one by one, kind of see if there's any fault, um, like paint splatter or bad paint apps or faults on their, um, their plastic or just their paints, just the, their look in general. And they all looked really good, so I was happy about that. I got this whole set over here, $20 a piece. Um, these will retail for about $17.99. Upwards to $24.99 depending on what Toys R Us wants to put out. Toys R Us usually does $24.99. But I got all these for $20 each. And I was really happy about that. I got the whole set as far as I know. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and open these up and complete Hobgoblin. And I'm going to do a review on these figures if you guys are interested. So stay tuned. Uh, review is coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching this haul. Hopefully you guys could spot these in your local retail stores and um, put in the comment section below which one do you guys think is the best figure out of these if I had to guess or if I had to make an opinion I'd probably choose <sighs> it's kind of a toss-up between Spider-Man 2099 and Daredevil. I really like how Daredevil came out. It looks like a really solid figure. But the winner, hands down, would be Hobgoblin once he's completed. He looks like such an awesome figure, and he has so many things going on. His face sculpt, his costume, and the style they made him. He has these wings and sword and everything. So that's definitely the winner for me. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for a full review on these figures. I'm going to take them out of package, and I got some more cool stuff coming up for you guys soon. Talk to you guys later. Peace.